G'day. Welcome back to the garage. We are going to remove the wiper linkage from the XW and replace it with a brand spanker that we've got. Hopefully that will get rid of the jerky motion that I've been seeing with these wipers. Let's pop these wipers off, get the cowl off and disassemble the linkage that's in there and compare it to the new one. Let's go. All right, that's a two second job to get that uh, scuttle paddle off. You can see here that this car's been painted, it's probably been painted about 10 years ago. And when they've done it, they haven't bothered removing or taping up anything because this is all kind of overspray onto the mechanism down here. So there's your wiper motor there. That drives that mechanism down there to rotate and in turn sort of rotates this rod and that's how your wipers go back and forth. If you have a look, there's a fair bit of play and a fair bit of clunk in there. There's five pivot points I think I counted on this whole mechanism. So after 40 odd years, I'm hoping that those worn five pivot points are the cause of this whole issue. So to get these out, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's seven sixteenth bolts there. And we've got one bolt and clip holding on the linkage to the wiper motor in here. So let's get that off now. I lied, it's 5 16th, and this is already attached to the drill, so I'm just gonna do it the drill way. Oh, that looks nasty. Look at that O-ring gasket thing. Ugh. memory serves me correct there's just a clip no bolt down here yeah so we just got to get this bloody bolt uh, bolt clip out and the whole thing should just pop off I'll show you what it looks like there we are so it kind of has to go up and over these clips, and let's not lose that. There we are. The whole deal. Here we And there she is. What a dirty old bloody thing that looks like. All right, a couple of things to note very quickly. One. I should have worn gloves, and two, I think I'm wearing the exact same stuff as I did last time I worked on the wipers, so this is a different video, it's a different day, it's probably about two months later, I can't remember. So this was about 200 bucks from Rare Spares, the guy looked after me, he was pretty good. The main difference is that in all the uh, mounting points, if you like, there's solid brass bushings, rather than these bushings that have some material or rubber in there. So let's count one, two, three, four, five. You were right, five pivot points. They're brand new clips on those arms in there. So, and it just, oh, it just feels a little bit tighter. A bit less jangly and wobbly. Let's whack it in. It's only six bolts. Pop the clip in and then give it a test. What have we got to lose? 200 bucks. It's gonna line the three holes up. Screws in. So the best way to do it, 
plop it in, move it all the way to the passenger side of the car, position both sides in the holes and bring them both up at the same time. Uh, you can't put one in, tighten it, and then put the other one in. That's what you learn when you do things the hard way, and that's how you learn to do stuff that you hopefully will never have to do again. But now we know for next time. This is by far the most fiddly part of the job, getting the clip back on the wiper motor. So, just to get light rather snug. Now, actually, getting on is pretty easy. I think getting it off is harder. Ah, oh, easy as. Have a look at the play in this compared to the other one. There's absolutely bugger all. Oh, that's exciting. That means we might have solved the problem. Let's get this scuttle paddle back on, the wipers on, and give it a test. So before we put the wipers back on, I just want to run the whole thing to make sure it's all connected and nothing falls off. Really should have done this before I screwed it all back together. Looks pretty good. The guy also said, make sure your wiper mode is in good condition before you do this, because these um, bearings and seals and whatnot in this assembly are much tighter than what was there, and it's gonna put strain on your wiper motor. So if your wiper, no, wiper motor's on its way out, maybe test it out before you do this so you don't burn the thing out. But I'm really happy with that. Looks really good. All right, let's turn the wipers off, pop the blades back on and get some water and test this bad boy out. Remember, don't turn it off at the ignition, turn it off at the wipers. You wanna make sure they're in the off position. By making sure they're in the off position means if you put the wiper on there, it doesn't end up going down there or way over there when you attach your wipers. You've already seen me do this in one video. Let's grab some H2O. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's give this a crack. Success! Yes! Sort of. There's still chatter, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. And listen in here, there's bugger old noise compared to what it was last time as well. Let's try with the car on because I actually rather be faster. There's still a little bit of crap, but nowhere near as much as, as there was before. I'm gonna call that successful. I reckon it's about 50 to 70% better than what it was before with the old linkage. I definitely would have confidence driving this in the rain now, knowing the whole thing's not gonna shatter apart. The wipers and that new linkage clean really, really well, although it does look a little bit out of place on an old car. But at the end of the day, like I said in the last video, which I'll link in the description down below, YouTube tip, I'm gonna drive this car and although Yes, you tend to drive your classic cars more in summer than in winter. I don't want a bit of rain or the chance of showers to stop me from going out driving the car. So I want to be able to use it more. And given the heater box has been sorted, the wipers are sorted, I'd like to actually take this car away over winter. Today we are finished. We can't actually drive anywhere because the driveway is getting done and there's no driveway to drive out to the street on. So we might just have to wipe up the water and get it ready for weekend after next. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've learned something. I definitely have. If you like what you're seeing here, 
hit the subscribe button. I think the last time I did one of these, I had six viewers. Now I've got 16, so yeah, thanks very much. Hopefully we'll get out and get some footage of this thing on the road so you can see what it's like driving an old classic car, uh, especially one that's low, loud, and handles like an absolute boat. Uh, until then, stay safe, and we'll see you next time on, I don't know what we'll call this, Mark's Mildly Interesting's Garage.